Welcome back. You've probably heard of STEM classes that stress science, technology, engineering, and math. Well, students at St. Joan Antietam High School in Milwaukee are getting more, adding art to those four. It's called STEAM. And I got a better look at the art aspect in Positively Milwaukee. Through mask making, we're going to be able to tell a story. These St. Joan Antietam students are learning self-expression through art. They come in as like this tight shell, and if I if I if I fail, I'm never going to move forward. Um, but I'm constantly trying to teach them that like failure is growth if you learn from it. This class with art teacher C.C. Braunreiter is devoted to folk art. This is good. This is how we figure out from other cultures what's going on. The young ladies channel their inner creative forces into their own personal art collections. They're expected to create 24 pieces of original art. 17-year-old Melina Gonzalez discovered she had a special talent. We were working on self-portraits. I didn't know I could draw myself as good as I saw, so I was pretty proud of that. You did a very good <laughs> job. You. I can see why you would be proud of that. Braun Ryder wants students to use art as a form of critical thinking. Most of these students are not aspiring to be professional artists, but they do see the value of art appreciation. You really have to be open-minded about your artwork, so I think that's something to work on, like Relating to my career in nursing, you have to be open-minded about that as well. 18-year-old Sarah Kopash shows a model of one of her creations. It was very like organic, just not very uniform like I thought it was going to be, which actually kind of fits a lot better because I'm not very like cookie cutter. Sarah is convinced art will always be one of her passions. I just feel like I can be myself in there, like who I truly am and I feel like I can express myself in that class better than all of my other ones. Brown Rider uses art to enhance life experiences and get students to push creative boundaries and think in new ways. You want them to become individuals, don't you? Yes. Seeing like them be so proud of themselves at the end um, and to look back and reflect on um, the four years and what they've learned and how they've grown as young women is probably the most rewarding for me. My most exciting results as an art teacher is seeing kids being able to leave here um, and feel confident. And research shows that schools that put arts in the curriculum can document positive changes in the school environment and student performance. So uh, just because you, you don't have to draw perfectly, yeah. but you just have to be willing to let that creative energy I, out. I love children's art, I young people's art in particular. I just I mean, like so. being around you, young people. They yeah. invigorate me yes, <laughs> after being around us, <laughs> us old people. What do you say? <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> I myself included. Well, we